Welcome to the Uncle Hack Podcast, where dudes pretty much just talk dude shit. Welcome to another episode of the Uncle Hack Podcast. Cancel Canada Today. Um, we're going to talk about this for just a brief second. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to air my thoughts on it. We're going to move into the funny. Uh, first off, I want to say this. What's happening with these residential schools, I don't agree with. I've always disagreed with the church. Uh, I grew up in a, a, a going to a Catholic school my whole life, all right? Uh, I've never been one to believe in the Bible. Um, there was a moment that really shifted uh, my perspective of the church and how they operate is when they looked at my mother and told her that because she's a single mother, it, the, the marriage fell apart because of her fault, which is completely false. So that was the day that we were told that we didn't have to go to church no more. And I was actually really excited because that meant I had Sundays to myself. I could do uh, little kid shit, you know? I could do little kid shit. I didn't have to go down to the church, but that's this is me being selfish, okay? First off, I want to say to my native uh, following, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, indigenous brothers and sisters that do listen to this shit, that do follow the cats, all I got to say is... Um, what happened and or what happened and what we're we're learning this portion of history please don't allow this to uh, like, like i hope that we can find somewhere where we can move forward together um i hope that we don't look at this to say that we need to cancel canada day i hope that we look at this and uh you know this this generation that's coming up i feel like um we have empathy, we have sympathy, and we, we recognize the evils of history and that we're capable of listening and hearing your, um, your side, what you think, what you feel, and have an open conversation rather than the past where it was, this needs to be this way, and that's it. Um, I've never been, like I said, I've never been one that agrees with the government and the church. So, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I don't know how to... Uh, this is why I would never make a great prime minister because I can't come forward and give you some bullshit. I can't feed you bullshit and have you sit there and believe the nonsense coming out of my mouth. All I got to say is I don't necessarily agree with canceling Canada Day. I think right now is the perfect opportunity for us to unite as Canadians and show those fucking cocksuckers sitting in parliament and legislation that we are better than this. We, the people, are better than this. We can come together. We don't need these cocksuckers in fucking suits and ties sitting there spewing bullshit at us day in, day out, making us live in fear, feeding us false narratives all the time to try and conquer and or trying to divide and conquer us. That's what's happening. We're seeing it every fucking day. There's always something in the headlines that's causing us to draw a line in the sand rather than looking at the true evils of this fucking country which are stupid cocksuckers that button up that goddamn shirt, walk down to their little fucking office and decide how am I going to put more money in my pocket from these giant corporations? Those sons of bitches need to feel the wrath of the people. So that, that this is where I'm saying that Canadians coming together shows more unity, more... Um, uh, where were... <laughs> sorry... Uh, it, 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 to me, it shows that their bullshit, their bullshit, their crocodile tears of their apologies mean fuck all, mean fuck all, that people can come together, that we're better than them. We don't need, you know, we don't need them to come forward and be, oh, I'm sorry, and give these fake, phony fucking apologies, you know? I'm a firm believer that when you wake up in the morning and you put your best foot forward and you treat people with respect, you will get that respect back. And I've, I've always lived by like the, the, that just that one key thing, that one key thing. I wake up, I, I live my life like that. That's it. That's all. 
I don't give a fuck where you where you're from, your skin color, uh, you know, um, how much money you have. I don't give any shits about that. What fancy stuff you wear. I don't care about any of that. Can you sit there? And share a beverage with me and have a conversation. And when I say beverage, it doesn't mean alcoholic. It can be non-alcoholic. We can have a coffee, a fucking tea, a Budweiser. I don't give a shit. I'm interested in you, you as a person, to have a conversation, you know? To have a conversation, to sit there and learn a little bit about you, what you've been through, the trials and tribulations that you have overcome as a human being, you know? The things that make you upset. Maybe we disagree on shit. Maybe we agree on things, but we can sit there and have a conversation. And opening the dialogue between both sides, I think, is key here. And that way we understand one another. And it's not this um, conservative, liberal bullshit no more. It's the fucking rich and powerful versus the poor. And I'll tell you one thing right now. If you're listening to this, you ain't in the big club, buddy. You ain't in the big club. You ain't making any decisions that uh, that that influence the direction of where we're going as people. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> you are not my friend. Signing a bill, pushing it forward, and then rules and laws change, okay? You're not part of that fucking club. So to point the finger at your neighbor and say it's your fault this all happened is 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 the most ignorant way of going about this you know moving forward i think it's understanding one another understanding your neighbor moving forward together and looking at those fucks that sit in that in those goddamn offices that do fuck all for you that just argue back and forth mr speaker mr speaker will the prime minister shut the fuck up all of them are the same they all play for the same team they all play for the same team. It's a big old fucking reality show. And but behind the scenes, they're all getting rich. All of them. You know? What did didn't Doug Ford's net worth fucking quadruple during this whole thing? You think you think they give a shit? They think they, you think old Dougie Ford gives a fuck about you? No. He sure the fuck don't. Same with Big Daddy Trudeau. This is perfect for him, by the way. This is perfect for him. I, I got three minutes left of this rant, and then I promise that we will we will turn the funny on. But these that cocksucker right now has not been more happier that something like this has arose. Now he's passing bills behind the scenes. So if you think that indigenous voices aren't being heard now, give it a fucking year. Give it a fucking year. Bill C-10 will clamp down on those voices harder than than we've ever seen. Because anybody that wants to speak out, the internet can now be censored by the Canadian government. That's right. So while this has been happening and keeping us distracted over here, bills are being passed to make sure your voice is not heard. So that's why I'm saying us uniting as people is very fucking important right now. And not arguing over, over where you're... Um, political stance is because i'll tell you one thing no matter where your political stance is the party that you root for isn't rooting for you and remember that next time you want to fucking go out there and wave your trump flag or you know talk about how great the canadian or the conservative party of canada is or how great the liberal party is or whatever whatever the fuck it may be just remember you ain't in the club you ain't in the club. You are not going to Bora Bora and hanging out, okay? You're not flying private to go for a, a luncheon with the CEO of fucking Enzyme Drilling, or yeah, Enzyme Drilling, okay? You you ain't in the club. You ain't influencing any decisions in the next couple of years. I know for a fact because you're listening to this fucking podcast, you know? So uh, all I'm saying is maybe it's time that we, you know, I ain't rich. I sure, I would love to be, you know, I'd love to be rich right now, not dealing with this shit, but maybe it's time that we as people start coming together. You know, if, if you ain't in the big dog tax bracket, 
chances are you and I are pretty much a fucking like, you know? Anyways, uh, that, there's my, uh, I hope you enjoyed Canada Day. Uh, no matter if you are celebrating it, uh, how we have in the past, that is completely fair. If you're, you know, uh, if you're not, hey, it's a free fucking country. That's the joy of this bitch, you know? Your grandpa, my grandpa, they loaded up the guns they headed over to fucking Germany and fought the Germans to make sure that those motherfuckers never got over here, right? We live in a free country. You are more than free to wear an orange shirt that day and say, fuck Canada Day all you want because it's a free motherfucking country. You want to know what we don't have to do? We don't have to dodge bullets in the morning walking to school. You don't have RPGs ripping by your fucking skull so you can go learn your ABCs. No, we live in a free goddamn country. So if you want to wake up, you want to go march and parade at, at your local MLA's office, by all means do it because that's the fucking joy of being a Canadian baby when we wake up in the goddamn morning we have freedom we do may do, do we have the freedom of the Americans well I can't necessarily shoot a Glock in the air out of my front doorstep but I gotta say it's pretty goddamn free up here in the north it's a little cold not gonna lie it's a little cold I get a little chilly but thank god we got winter sports to keep us entertained if we didn't have hockey what the fuck would we be doing up here we'd be snowboarding tobogganing snowshoeing doing cool shit now it's the summertime baby it's Canada Day you want you want a little something you want a little freedom you want to go crack a beer in the park by all means do it you're gonna get a drinking in public ticket tell that officer to shove it up his ass this is a fucking free country you know What's, what's next? Are we going to be speaking German around here? For fuck's sakes, I thought I, I thought I lived in freedom. I thought when I woke up this morning, I didn't realize I was under authoritarian state. I didn't realize, I didn't realize that, oh, Jesus Christ, is the Fierro going to be doing his speech today? Fuck you, all right? I'm going to smoke in front of the front doors of Chuck E. Cheese if I goddamn want to. This is Canada, baby. We win gold medals at the fucking Olympics playing the, the best sport. The best damn sport. You know? Grandpa, Grandpa did his job. Grandpa did his service. So that way we can wake up and live in a fucking free country. And you bet your sweet ass I'm going to enjoy it. You want to wear the orange shirt? Hey, God bless you. I ain't going to tell you what to do. That's the, that's the fucking joy of it. All right? You want to go out there? You want to shoot fireworks out of your ass? By all means, do it. Your sexuality is free here. We, you know, yeah, is there some ignorant assholes out there? But guess what? It's perfectly legal. We're not like the Russians. We're not like, this ain't the Middle East. If you're gay, we're not going to throw you off the top of a building. You are free to suck any dick you want. You can put your lips on anything you want. You want to change your gender? You can do that because you live in a free country. Enjoy it. Don't fuck it up. All right? And next time, next time we hear about some, uh, you know, some naughty shit that happened in the past, I'm like, I'm talking about in the beginning, all right? We're being silly now, okay? Don't take any of this shit serious. This is the disclaimer part, okay? In the beginning, yes. Now, next time, next time one of these politicians try and fucking butter you up and, and tell you some horse shit that you ain't ready, you ain't want to hear. You ain't want to hear it. You're done with them. You're done with them. Throw a fucking shoe at them. Throw a shoe at him. That's a joke. Don't necessarily. But if you do it, don't say I. You get what I'm saying? Don't be a snitch. Don't say I told you to do that. If that's how this show gets shut down, okay? Then uh, then what? Then what are we going to do? I'm going to have to busk on the street corner telling knock-knock jokes. You know? Hey, man, you got a size 10 shoe? I'm a little short. I'm, I'm missing a shoe. I sold it for a uh, tall boy of Budweiser the other day. <laughs> But I am happy. I am happy. I am, I'm a proud Canadian. I'm proud to be from the best... I'm not proud of who represents us. That's exactly it. I'm proud to be from here. I'm proud to have uh, multiculturalism here. You know? I don't give a shit. I'm proud that you can... You know what makes me fucking happy? Is being from a place 
that you can literally do whatever the fuck you want, you know? I think it's badass that you can have gay dudes doing their own thing. Do I like the fact that, you know, for a month, well, not for a month, I'm just saying for a month, um, corporations hopping on the fucking trend is kind of where you lose me. I'm all for it. You want to be gay? Be the best goddamn gay man you could possibly be. You want to be a dyke? Be the, you better eat pussy like it's your last fucking meal, okay? You want to be, you want to change your gender? Fucking do it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. The fuck do I care? I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, you know what? I wait, I want to get drunk. That's what I want to do. I want to get drunk. And I'm damn well going to do it. I'm damn well going to do it. Because I fucking can. They never, this ain't, you know, this ain't like some places over e in the east, you know, where they ban alcohol, you know? You can get hammered. Shit, you work in the union, you 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 might not even have to show up. They'll still pay you. That's the joy of it. You're living in a free country, my dog. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. There's some men that did some sh some evil shit back in the day. But don't attach me to it. I'm out here trying to enjoy this freedom, boy. Some boys went over. Some boys went over in a fucking boat and shot the Germans. So that way you and I ain't speaking a fucked up language. Now imagine if that motherfucker won. Imagine if that motherfucker took over the world. It's a whole different story over here. Whole different ball game, baby. Little fucking different, I'd say. Little fucking different. But I'm not one to judge, you know. Whatever you want to do today, you do it. And you better be goddamn good at it, you know. Enjoy your fucking day. You deserve it. You're Canadian. You're Canadian. To the Americans that are listening to this, I know you're probably like, Jesus Christ, fuck Canada. We are a bit of a bitch country. If we didn't have the Americans below us, we're just singing a different goddamn tune. Let's be honest. It's not like, it's not like the, uh, you know. We're not scaring anybody, you know. We if we didn't have the big dogs down south, who who knows what we we'd probably be speaking a mix of Russian and Mandarin right now. Yeah, the only reason Alaska's around because they the the Americans looked at us and been like, mm -mm, not a chance. The Russians are way too fucking close. Yeah, we're gonna take that piece of land up there because we know you pussies ain't gonna defend it. And this gives them a perfect opportunity to just slide on in. And that's the last thing we need. And we're going to put a fucking military base and a half up there to ensure that those motherfuckers understand, don't you even think about coming over here. And if it wasn't for that, we would be fucked. We would be fucked. What are we going to do? Hey, what are you going to have, Big Chew? I'm disappointed in you. All yeah, right. Yeah, right. That disappointment does that disappointment shit don't work so fucking hot with them. They kind of don't care. All right. So we'd be fucked. We'd be speaking a little Russian and Mandarin at the same time. You can a vodka. A little bit of that. Next thing you know, here we are. Vladimir's uh G. Vladimir G Putin. That's your name. Horrible bit. I'm I'm uh I'm trying to that was a horrible bit. Lowbrow humor. Shit dog shit humor is what it is. Dog shit humor. I do have a great question coming up uh in, in, in the second half of the show. I think it'll be a lot of fun to break that down. But I'm just saying, relax a little bit, okay? History sucks. In fact, What's happening in the fucking world right now is just all around shitty. There's a, uh, there's all sorts of madness happening. We as humans are barbaric, all right. And once we finally wrap our our stupid noodles around it, and we realize like, hey, maybe we're not the best things. We're just intellectual. That's all. We're no different than the mammals. They rip each other apart all the time. They do evil, evil shit. They fucking rape, murder, and pillage in the goddamn animal kingdom too. What makes us different is our brains are just slightly bigger. We're able to piece things together. We have emotions that 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 are in a wide range. We care. We care. 
We used to be barbaric. We used to fucking show up. You know, the Vikings used to show up, bop guys on the head, and fuck their wife right in front of them. You know? Like, things were things have come a long way. To say that this is the worst it's ever been, eh, it's a stretch. I'm saying the planet's fucked. We're probably looking at a fucked up planet here in the next 10, 15 years. It's going to be a different tune. If you don't have money, I'm, uh, I'm going to assume that life's going to get a little hard, pal. I think the wealth gap is going to get a little bigger. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at a food shortage in the next little while. You got too many fat fucks, you know, way too many fat fucks. But this is how ignorant we are. This is how ignorant and dumb we are. We all seem to like walk around like everything is going to be fine. That's how stupid we are. Thank God I got the new fucking iPhone. That's great. Got the new iPhone. Can look at triple D tits. Because some stupid bitch is out there getting fucked by her neighbor, filming it and putting it on Pornhub. And I can watch that on my iPhone because I just bought the brand new iPhone with my new job that I pretend to give a shit about. You know, I wake up and I pretend to care about the job that I go to to buy the new iPhone and see uh, my neighbor get fucked on OnlyFans for $10. And it is great. I don't hate it one bit. Now, do I look past uh, the, the, into the bigger issues that are happening in this fucking Little uh, thing we call Earth? No, God, no. The ozone layer is torched. I, I deny climate change. Uh, <laughs> I deny the fact that uh, we are clearing out the oceans and that uh, the food source is becoming a little scarce. We fucked with the food source for many, many years. You know, GMOs exist. We, uh, we're genetically modifying everything. It's uh, it's gonna get, it's gonna get a little s snaky out there. I'm that's all I'm saying. But thank God, thank God, I can pay ten dollars and see the neighbor get fucked. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? You know, I might not be able to buy tomatoes at the grocery store in the next five years, but thank God, thank God, my old lady's sister rams herself in the ass. With a praying hands dildo, yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like she, it looks like the hands are praying. She shoves that fucker right in her ass. I secretly subscribed for five bucks just because you know I fantasized about fucking her a few times. I'm not gonna lie. Do I give a shit about not being able to buy tomatoes? No, I eat processed food out of a fucking can like a like a like a like a. A goddamn dog out of the, in the SPCA. So why the fuck do I give a shit? I don't care about any fresh fruit or fresh vegetables. God almighty. I got hungry mans and an unlimited source of my old lady sister fucking herself. I'm set. I'm set. When the planet starts to deteriorate, that's my kid's problem. I'll tell you what, we could have changed course a couple of years ago, but the boomers decided, eh, you know what, fuck it. We're going to put asbestos in our houses and really fuck ourselves up. We're going to drop atom bombs on one another. We're going to shoot nitrogen bombs off in the ocean. <laughs> that shouldn't do anything. <laughs> Then you got psychopaths like Bill Gates that want to shoot dust into the fucking atmosphere to like cool off the earth. Okay. That's, that's brilliant. You know what? There's a bunch of evil, evil bastards with a lot of goddamn money looking to do some pretty wild shit. So I think we're about to get into a little bit of a cowboy area era, if, uh, if you may. Things might get a little weird for a little bit in the next 30, 40 years. You know, a bunch of rich guys with ideas in their head. That's always good. You know, hey, we're going to get into a space program just because I got a lot of money and I sell books on a website. Jesus. And you think that we're we're fucking we're heading in the right direction. Don't worry about us. You know, that's what I'm saying. You unite with your neighbor. Have a fucking drink. This bitch is going to be over before you know it. You know, we're destroying ourselves at a vapid pace. Very, very rapid. Time for a little ad read. Here we go. Patreon.com slash DangerCat69. Down in the link, or there'll be links down in the description down below. Down, 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 down. 
And you can get an extra episode of the Uncle Hack Podcast every week, every Thursday. When this episode drops, there is an extra episode on the Patreon. That's right. Thursdays at 3 p.m., an extra episode on the Patreon. Extra episode on the Patreon. And this episode that you're listening to right now gets released on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. So you get this earlier, plus our titties. Titty Tuesday. Hey, Titty Tuesday. Nudity. Hey, that's great. Yeah, using bare-chested women to try and promote your podcast, as you should, Brendan. Great marketing plan. Also, DangerCatShop.com. Use the code PODCAST69 to get 15% off your order. Uh, I believe by now we might have... I'm pre-recording a lot of these episodes. If you're a big fan of the show, you understand that I am in Austin, Texas, having the time of my life, living it up, whooping it up. So what I'm saying is there probably is a new design on the site. If not by now, probably next week. And uh, in the meantime, please support the brand. I appreciate it. Remember, podcast69, dangercatshop.com. Get 15% off your order today. Back to the episode. Did I say vapid or rapid? I don't know. I can't remember. Came out quick. Yeah. But instead, you know, the doom and gloom. The doom and gloom. I can see titties shake on TikTok. And I play the game on whether I'm not going to jail for five years because that girl's underage. Or if I'm sexually stimulated by a grown adult. I don't know. Either or, it's a, it's a fun little game that I like to play to distract myself from understanding that the world is slowly going to correct itself and the human species, thus homo sapiens, will be wiped out. We'll be wiped out by the thousands, millions. You know, if we don't kill ourselves, and you know, Mother Nature will wipe us out. And if Mother Nature doesn't, maybe a foreign... Uh, Maybe a foreign being, maybe an extraterrestrial just starts to think, "Mm, you know what, this is a failed science project. We should wipe a few of these cocksuckers out and correct this bitch. It's not like the earth is going anywhere. We will. Don't don't kid yourself. We will. It's not like, uh, it's, it's not like this thing hasn't been floating in the fucking universe without us on it. You know? Have we been here the whole time? We don't even know that. What is it? Like, we only know about 5% of our history. That's crazy. Because that's when they started uh, writing on walls and shit. But prior to that, we only know about 5% of human existence. So, all I'm saying, it didn't take long for us to get uh, a little bit more advanced to really fuck this thing up. And if you think the earth is not going to heal itself, it gladly will. It will without us. Don't you worry. So in the meantime, in the meantime, relax, buddy. Kick the feet up. Pay for an OnlyFans subscription. Who gives a shit? This fucker's, it, hey, you got one crack at it. You made it. Be lazy. Get a hand. Pay for a hand job. Take a finger in the ass when you get a blow job next time. Fuck me. Try an IPA. Do gay shit with your best friend while you're out on a fishing trip. Who gives a shit? You're going to die. You think everybody's going to give a shit about you once you're dead? No. I think everybody's going to remember that time you sucked off your friend on a fishing trip in New Hampshire? No, of course they're not. They're going to make up some bullshit about how you were such a great guy and you did nothing but good for the world. No, you didn't. Every funeral's the same. Copy and paste. Oh, we miss him. He was such a good guy. No, he wasn't. He was a deadbeat. He stole from everybody. Cheated on his wife 4,000 fucking times. He actually gave her chlamydia four times, and he only got caught once because he would slip it into her mimosa every time. She didn't pick up on it that every time he came back from a trip, he felt guilty, so he took her out for a nice dinner and gave her flowers. Be like, babe, I had a great time. I missed you so much. No, no. He would wait till she would go to the bathroom. He'd slip some pills in her fucking mimosa. Clear up the goddamn clap. Guy was a dickhead. But nope, we got to get up there and tell everybody how great of a human being he was. He was so phenomenal. He was great for the world. You know, the world is just a... 
It's just not a better place without him here. Fuck that. The world's a way better place without him here. He's a shithead. He's a fucking lowlife, a deadbeat. We didn't need him. We don't want him. We don't need him again. We don't need him. It's bad enough he had a kid. He's leaving back a, a few kids. It's horrible. We're actually pissed that he had children. Because now there's an, the offshoot chance they might grow up to be similar to him. Nobody's excited about that. His friends aren't. They all knew he was an asshole. You know? But everybody gets up and says the same shit. So what I'm saying, get out there and live a little. Do some dumb shit. Do some weird shit. Who gives a fuck? It's going to be all over soon, pal. It's going to be all done, all over. This is a morbid fucking... We went from being like upcharging, uplifting, and I had to bring you back down. I had to bring you back down to my level, where I think, where I'm at, you know? It's like, if you have an idea, do it. That's why I fucking hate people that are like, yeah, you know, fuck, I, I could have been this, but I, I was going to start my own business, and I, I was going to do all this, but, 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 the but people, fuck them. I like people with a little bit of rawness to them, you know, they fuck. Ah, oh, shit, you know, huh? I tried owning a business once, but then I got too into cocaine. Hey, now we're talking. What are you up to? Love to hear more about that. Some some really unpolished people. That's what I like. People that go for it and fail and they kind of, eh, yeah, it didn't work out so great. Didn't work out so great in my favor, but I gave an honest fucking, you know, the old college try, as they say. You know, we gave it a, we gave it a go. We didn't, uh, we didn't sit around on our fucking thumb like a pussy. We got out there and did something, but I just came up a little short. I like those people. They're humble. They get it. I like them. So what I'm saying, lads, get out there, do some shit. This world is not going to reverse itself. We fucked it up. The food source uh, is fucked. The, the earth itself is fucked. The oceans are fucked. The number one oxygen producing um, ecosystem is completely torched because we suck. And this is, uh, this is, it has nothing to do with the white guys or the black guys or whoever. Us as guys, we fucked it up. So I'm saying, go have a little fun. The average lifespan in Canada is 75 years. You're going to spend 75 years just living it out, being boring? You know, I'm knocking, I'm, I'm 30. I'm 30 years old. I'm guessing, uh... I don't really have any health conditions uh, that I should be worried about that are hereditary in my family. So I'm guessing I might fucking hit 75. I'm almost at the halfway point, you know? It's time for fucking old uncle. Uncle's had a good crack, you know? I've thought of shit and I went and did it. I wanted to be an MMA fighter. I went and did it. I went and took some fights. I had, I think I had 10 fights total. You know? Go out there, live. You got one crack. Who gives a shit? Don't, don't, don't let the old lady tell you any different. If she starts fucking in your ear, you ain't shit. Fuck her. Leave. Go, go do what you want. Who gives a shit? What is she going to do? That's what I, I, I just can't stand that people that hold themselves back. They chain themselves to the wall and never like, they never, they literally do. They chain themselves to the wall and they never want to break free. They never want to break free. I've never understood that. Never understood that, which is a good segue to get into uh, the fan question. I like the fan questions. This is a lot of fun for me. Um, here we go. All right. Uh, hey, Hack, big fan of the pod. I'm a small town Alberta boy. Hell yeah, you are. Uh, who's growing up hunting, fishing, camping. Uh, the fundamentals. I like that, you know. Uh you know what pisses me off? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but you're probably going to tell us. I, I hate the fact... Oh, yeah, here we go. This stupid fucking thing. Why can't it just, like, hold it on there? This right here, here's a quick little rant. Listen, all you fucking young bucks out there that like doing that type of outdoorsy stuff, hunting, fishing, camping, going out there in the fundamentals of life, you're able to go and uh, live... In the wilderness. Now, when you say camping, I'm going to assume that you probably got a camper. That's okay. You got a camper. You go out there in the wilderness. You need a little shelter. You got to, you got a little shelter with you. But you go out hunting. 
You know, you're you're collecting your own food source. You go fishing. Sure, you might have a boat and all that and a couple few more amenities that they didn't have back in the day. But you still go out and uh, live out the 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 natural or the 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 way we used to be you know you'd go and have to hunt and gather and don't ever let some fucking stupid bitch with a bowl cut that gets anxiety because a bus drives by him tell you otherwise but what you do is wrong okay those people are losers. They have nothing going on for them. So what they do is sit online because they can they they can sit there. They understand that they'll never get hit in the mouth while talking on a screen. All right? Living in a small town talking shit online, you still run into the odd chance that you're going to get your ass kicked. These fucking kids now, you know, it's easy to sit in your bedroom and live out your little fantasy world of being a furry or not interacting with other human beings and being this weird entity that exists, right? And I'm okay with that. But don't sit there and make some guy feel bad about the decisions and hobbies that he has when you don't have any to begin with. You think that sitting on TikTok in a comment section arguing with other people is a good way to spend your time? Then so be it. Do it. But you, my friend, because you go out and hunt and fish and you enjoy it, don't allow some other little fucking, you know, like I said, some bitch that looks like Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber, except her hair looks like she got into a fist fight in the paint aisle of a Home Depot, tell you, that you're a low life because of what you like doing, all right? Because when the world goes to shit, that bitch is going to starve. She doesn't understand how to grow a garden, how to go out and hunt, go out and fish, how to exist in the wild, and she's going to have to rely on a guy like you. Weird, right? The irony. Oh, wow, I'm vegan. Oh, I'm vegan. Really? That's great. Fucking idiot. Stupid bitches. Ugh. Anyways, me and my brother are getting pretty close. Uh, or me and my brother are pretty close and hung out lots. Things have turned for the worse. He got himself a vegan extreme left loudmouth gash. Love that you called her a gash. <laughs> She's turning him vegan and is selling his camper. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, turning, she is turning him vegan and is selling his camper and he is selling his camper, not hunting anymore to please her. My family fucking hates her as they should. We have to cater to her food preferences. When we have a family supper, I found myself barbecuing tofu burgers on my grill. Come on. You as a man, that probably fucking, that probably hit you in the pills. Barbecuing tofu. Barbecuing tofu. You know what I know what I'd rather do than barbecue tofu? I'd rather suck Charlie Sheen's HIV dick than barbecue tofu. Oh my God. My God. She is a healthcare nurse. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. And thing in thinks she is a god since COVID started. Oh yeah, most of them do. You don't know how hard it is. Shut up. Yeah, because the, you, you want to know what nurses are in the healthcare system. Listen, I get it. You went in. You, nurses are literally the laborers of the hospital system. Okay, hear me out. I'm gonna break this down. A doctor went to go specialize in something. I e a fucking journeyman, right? A journeyman goes in, he specializes in something. He's good at his trade. He's worked at his trade long enough. A healthcare nurse, you know, that's what you want to know why you're wiping an, a shitty ass is because you went and took the easiest course. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I want to do that? No, but don't act like you're a fucking surgeon. Okay. Anybody with that can anybody can walk in there and wipe asses and noses and write things down so that way the big dog can come in and get the job done okay you fill charts and wipe asses and change piss pots covid's been hard on me as it should 
because you were too fucking stupid to get an actual medical degree, okay? You got a little, you got, you went and got a little fucking course. You went and got a course. You're an RN. Fuck off. Good for you. I'm not saying we don't need you. I'm not saying we don't need you. But don't act like you're the surgeon. Humble yourselves, you stupid bitches. Fucking out here trying to, trying to give medical advice. Trying to give medical advice. Nothing pisses me off more than when a nurse knows as much as me and you do. Okay. Fucking, ugh, yeah, no shit. But my brother has zero confidence, so he's being a grade A pussy. My brain is yelling at me to just fucking rip him and rip him and her in front of everybody, but it will do, it will only unite them. What the fuck do I do? All right. Um, first off, I, I can just imagine the type of bitch that this chick is. They are the, yeah, uh, like, uh, your brother probably, I'm going to, pro- you know what, I'm going to describe this. Uh, I think pretty good. I think pretty good. Um, I'm guessing your brother is a very shy, a uh, very shy young man, you know. This is probably like a first, maybe second. It, it's it's a beginning stages of a, of a real relationship and he hasn't really dated anybody outside of maybe his high school sweetheart. And my, and, uh. I, I, and I'm going to go off this that I, I need to get like, if you're going to write in a question, I don't hate the fact if you give me more to work with, by the way. Um, but I'm going to guess that he's a very timid type individual because anybody with a backbone, anybody with a backbone would never, ever, ever let their old lady dictate what their fucking hobbies are. Okay. Never in my goddamn life. You as a man, you you grew up doing certain things. Now maybe, maybe shit changes. Shit changes. But I'm saying it changes because you want it to change. Not because somebody else comes in and says, no, you like this now. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. You like hunting and camping with your brother? And you're going to allow this fucking thing to come walking in? Second of all, shame on you. Shame on you for ever barbecuing tofu burgers on your goddamn grill. You're better than that, okay? Next time she wants a tofu burger and you're about to... You should fucking frisbee that thing into the goddamn sticks. Be like, yeah, yeah, no, your burger's out there. You can go eat out there. You, that's where it can start. You know what? You're either... If you do say something to him, unfortunately, you're, you're going to lose your brother for a minute because pussy, pussy, when you're a... Uh, when you're not a confident individual, pussy holds power to you. When you have a backbone and you're the leader in this thing, uh, in this in the relationship, and you str- you take the first stride, you know, there's always a leader and a follower. It's just kind of how it goes, you know. And right now, uh, I'm assuming, like I said before, that your brother is a little bit more timid. He's the quiet kid, you know. He allows a, he'll take a little shit. Because he's he thinks that this is how this works. It's not how this works. If that fucking bitch is starting to dictate about what you like and what you don't like, guess what? Time to pack your bags, bitch. Get the fuck out of my place. Tell me what I like and don't like. I'll tell you what I like. My fucking sanity. I like my hobbies. I like hanging out with my brother going fucking fishing and smacking a goddamn buck opening day. That's what I like doing. I like loading up the camp or heading to the mountains. Not fucking cooking tofu burgers. What's next? Oh, oh, we put pecans in the salad. Oh, I put pecans in the salad. Isn't that nice, honey? Guess what? He's going down a track. Guess what? He's going to be wearing Kirkland button-up shirts. Talking about IPAs with other fucking fruit cakes. Wear glasses that don't even need a prescription because they look trendy. Oh, is that a beanie or a toque? It's a beanie. Shut the fuck up. I'm a nurse. Respect what I have to say. Suck my ass, you stupid bitch. You want you're you, you are literally a laborer. Pick up the shovel and go clean the shit. That's what you do, okay? Don't walk around like you fucking saved the planet, okay? The people saving the planet don't brag about it. We don't need it. We don't, they, they're not on the front lines fucking bragging. Oh, look what I did. 
Yeah, look what I did. Oh, I wiped an old man's ass today. Why isn't somebody beating a pot and pan for me? Fucking nurses drive me insane. All those uh, biggest whores, too. All of them are like the biggest whores. They're always like, oh, yeah, don't date a stripper. Bah, 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 bah. Whore strippers are whores. Not really. They show their pussy for money. That's it. That's it. I know, like, there's a few that get, uh, when they first come into it, I've heard stories of where they get coaxed into sucking a dick for some money in the back room. But that's usually, like, a rookie mistake, you know? Every every RN I ever heard gets, like, three-on-one for fun, you know? Straight-up whores. But I'm saying, okay, uh, back on track here. Well... <sighs> How do you assess this situation? Well, I would probably tell your brother that to grow a set of nuts. I'd go out and I'd be like, hey, we're going, let's go fishing one day or try and get him to do something that uh, maybe he likes. Take him out to do something he likes. You know your brother, you grew up with him, you know his hobbies, what he's interested in. Take him out to do something he likes. Maybe there's a convention or a trade show or uh, maybe uh, there's a game on, you're going fishing, whatever it may be. Whatever you guys share that's in common, take him out and be like, look, man, I'm watching you get walked all over. That's not what we do here. Like, this lady is a fucking snatch, bro. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes her. If you want to be with her, go be with her. But just know if being with her does not mean she can come over here and start dictating how I think, how I feel about certain situations because she thinks a different way than I do and lives her life different. All right? You want to be with that? Be with that. Go right the fuck ahead. Go be unhappy over in Unhappyville with old Miss Respect me because I'm a fucking nurse. I wiped an old man's ass today. Ah. I changed the piss pot of a woman with Alzheimer's. Where's my respect? I can just imagine what this psychopath like. Why, why didn't you cook tofu? You can't have bacon in my house. You can't have bacon in my house. You want to live with that with for the rest of your life? Picture yourself five years. You know what I'd tell him? Picture yourself five years down the road. Are you going to be happy? No, you're going to be a shell of yourself. You're going to look like a fucking pathetic loser with no friends. Because that bitch is going to run every single one of them off. Those psychopaths are meant to be alone. That's a dump and change right there. Fucking put a load on her face. And right after you're done doing that, just be like, hey, I got to talk. I'm uh, not happy with this. Time for me to go. I need somebody that's my pace into the same things. You know what? I get it. You know, this guy's probably, yeah, like, a, like no confidence whatsoever he's getting some pussy and i'm gonna guess she fucks you when she wants to fuck you and not when you're like hey are you in the mood you have to ask to have sex instead of like trying to woo her hey babe do you mind if we have no no i'm a woman i'm a woman do i look I, i'm a registered nurse i just worked all day don't you understand how hard i worked you know how many old man pairs of balls i had to wash today with a sponge Ugh. I'm a nurse, respect me. And the next time I come home and you're not smashing a pot and pan in my face, saying, we respect you. We love frontline workers. Then you're not going to have sex with me for another three months. Ah, oh, God. Your brother needs to grow a set of fucking balls. I hate hearing about this type of shit, you know? Watching a guy go down the toilet pool. Fuck me, making you sell the camper? What the fuck is wrong with you? Unless you genuinely hate camping. Is it you hate camping or she hates camping? Because if she hates camping and you're selling the camper, you're a pussy. You're a pussy. Find yourself a bitch that wants to go out in the sticks and ride your dick like sea biscuit. Cook a fat fucking steak on an open fire and cheers in a bush light. If that's the kind of woman you want, are you looking at this broad and thinking like, oh man, I am so happy. Or are you walking around like trying to like tiptoe around a minefield because God forbid, you know, you had a burger at Wendy's today, you know, oh, I smell beef on your breath. Jesus Christ. Who is this? Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with men? What happened to us? Get some confidence. Get some balls. Tell her to go fuck herself and it'll feel great. Trust me, it will. 
When you come in guns heavy in an argument and you win an argument, because I imagine that you get told what to do, your brother get or sorry, your brother gets told what to do. I'm talking to like I'm talking to this guy. You fucking idiot, you pussy. I imagine that this chick tells you what to do a lot of the time. And it and you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just me being a good boyfriend. No, man, you're being a cock. You're being told what to do. What's next? What's next? You gonna be paying her the whole rent? I'm a nurse. We gotta save my money. Fuck this bitch. Coming over, she and like if that's gotta tell you something. If the whole family hates her, the whole family. Now I understand it's your happiness, but the whole family hates her. I could understand like, mm, you know, maybe my maybe mom doesn't like her. Maybe mom doesn't like her. You know, that's uh, that's understandable. One or two. Sometimes the brother, you know, you bump heads with your brother and your brother's like, ah, she's a bitch, but I don't mind her. She, she, she's good for him. But it sounds like the whole family fucking hates this dumbass. You need to cut tofu on. No, 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 no. You want to eat vegan? You want to eat vegan? Well, guess what? Know what my mom would say? Well, I guess you better bring vegan hot dogs. And cook them your fucking self. Like we give a shit. I don't give a flying fuck if you want squirrel nuts and goddamn roasted chestnuts in the fucking thing. And a goddamn salad. We're having burgers and fries tonight. You don't like that. You can fuck the fuck off. Vegan. Ugh. Let me guess. She's got, she's, she's got purple hair probably. And a shitty, some sort of gay piercing somewhere on her. A lip ring or something. Oh, God. Isn't it funny that I started the episode, do whatever you want, live your life. And now I'm just ripping on this guy. That's how this show is. We rip on you for being an idiot. That's not you living free, though. We like freedom. That's not you living free. That's you living under the thumb of somebody else that thinks that they know what's best for you. And you're not. You're not living your life to your fullest. And right now, it sounds like you're being a pussy. Your bro- you know what I do? I tell your brother. I pull him aside. I never quite gave, got to that point. You got to pull your brother aside and have a chat with him. You got to have a mano, mono imano chat and be like, are you really happy? Cause and like bring that up. Are you really happy? And ask him. Do you see yourself in like three years, like down a path that you want to be? Like trying to foresee this. Like when you come home, are you more worried? Are you like, are you excited to have a conversation with her, or are you more worried about what you did wrong that day? Because if it's more worried about what you did wrong that day. And what you're going to hear about, like, oh, yeah, you put you left a pair of socks on the floor. Are you going to be told and said, hey, babe, how was your day? Are you being told, like, oh, oh, you know, you know what you did wrong? If, that, if that's how that starts, you know, maybe it's time to move on. Maybe it's time to move on. Nobody deserves that. I'm a firm believer in that. I, a lot of firm beliefs in this episode as well. I'm a firm believer in that. <laughs> you could, you're better off being alone. You know, build your confidence up, man. You don't got to date every piece of pussy that you stick your dick into. No, live your life a little bit. If your hobbies are being taken away from you because she thinks that they're inhumane or whatever her reasoning are because I'm a vegan and I think this way, doesn't mean you got to fucking adapt and take her beliefs on. I I mean, there's some uh, adapting, but you don't got to change your whole fucking lifestyle for a goddamn piece of trim. It ain't worth it. Zero percent of it is worth it, my friend. Wake up in the fucking morning rolling over and be like, you snored all night. And you left your socks on the floor. Oh, wow. We're off to a great start today. This is nice. I'm enjoying myself. Can't wait to fucking roll out of bed, you know, and uh, hear some more about what I did wrong last night. This is going to be fantastic, you know. My God, grow a set. Your brother needs to grow a set of balls is what it sounds like. Confidence, he's lost his confidence. Sounds like he's never had any if he's allowing a broad like that to run his fucking ship. That'd be the fucking day, my friend. That'd be the fucking day. Fucking guy out there letting this stupid bitch. Uh, I'm a vegan. Fuck you. No one gives a shit. That's great. Yeah. 
That, 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 yay. Guess what? I'm a blood donor. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Means it holds about the same amount of weight. I'm a blood donor. Oh, oh, oh. oh cool. Hey, shut your fucking mouth. Your brother needs to grow a set of balls and ask him. There's like three questions you ask. Like when you come home, like that, the first one is when you come home after a long, hard day, are you, are you greeted and you're happy to see her? Or is it just like you making that up in your own head and, and like the first things that you hear are everything you did wrong, how fucking shitty you are, what, uh, you know, what mess you left, you know, or are, are, and it's not like you're taking advantage, you know, you're tired, you, whatever you do for work, um, and I get it, we're, nurses work hard too, yeah, we all work hard, we get it. COVID's been tough on us. COVID's been tough on everybody. Quit acting like you're the only ones affected by it. We had to work so hard. Yeah. All the hospitals I went to sure didn't seem to be too overloaded. I mean, uh, I was watching fucking nurses make TikToks throughout this whole fucking thing. So I think you were doing A-OK through it all. Ugh. Yeah, your brother needs to grow a sack and ask himself a few questions. When he comes home, is he greeted how he would like to be greeted? And will that, uh, is that something that he sees himself doing in the future? And also, um, are, are these changes because he wants it or because she wants it? You know, there's compromise. I understand a relationship, ta- a relationship takes compromise to, for both sides to meet in the middle on some issues, you know? takes uh takes two to tangle but also you have to realize that you need some me time you can't spend every waking moment with this fucking person or else you're gonna go insane you're gonna hate one another that's it's the reality of things that's why you know you have friends and you go do shit with your boys but if you go down this path before you know it you're gonna have no hobbies that you do with your friends You're going to be hanging out with her and her friends, and her friends are probably fucking losers. What are you going to do? Oh, I I got a new kale salad, and I'm going to invite over uh, Chester. Chester and Eva are going to come over. And, uh, oh, yeah, Chester found some new IPAs that we, that you guys can try in the backyard. And and me and Eva will make a nice nice tofu salad. We're going to put apricots and and, and uh, dried out grapes in it. Doesn't that sound nice? Craisins. You ever had a craisin? You ever had a craisin in a salad? Oh, does that sound like your like a fun future? Fuck no. I don't know about you, but the other, the other option sounds a lot better. Ditch that bitch and find somebody, you know, that wants to eat a big whole hunk of meat. Out in the middle of the wilderness, big open fire, you know. She's sitting there. Uh, she's sitting there. She looks at you and gives you a fucking, this is nice, isn't it, honey? Yes, it is. You're fucking right it is. Got yourself an old shitty trailer back there, but she don't care. She don't give a shit. Is that what you want? You want her? You want her? Well, guess what? You don't have her right now. You got the psychopath. You got the psychopath, buddy. Take a long, hard look in the mirror. You have a balls? You have a set of balls? You have a balls? You have a set of balls between your legs? I feel like once I get like that past like the half an hour mark, I start to like... Ugh. Um, Yeah, you got a set of nuts between your legs? Take a look at the... Take a long, hard look in the mirror. Would your father be proud of you right now? Of course he wouldn't. He didn't raise no bitch, all right? He didn't raise no pussy, okay? He didn't raise no little cuck bastard to be told what he can and cannot do, what hobbies he can and cannot have. So I suggest, big big dog, that you fucking tell your brother to give his nuts a fucking tug, take a long, hard look in the fucking mirror, and ask himself, am I proud of what I've become? Am I happy that I'm selling the trailer? Am I happy eating this shitty, crazy fucking salad with dried out tofu and fake meat? The fuck are you? Two years ago, you were in the bush whacking a fucking bear. One of the most primal, 
predators to walk the fucking planet. You took it out with a gun because you are a man. Oh, I thought you'd kill animals. If you're a real man, you'd kill them with a knife. Fuck that. We're smarter. We're more intellectual. We built weapons to take out predators like that. That's the evolution of man. And if you want to de-evolve and go back to eating, you want to be one of the, you know what? Know where you would be? You want to know where you'd be? You want to be the guy that goes and collects berries with the women if we were in tribes still? Is that because that's where you're headed, pal? That's where you're headed. Oh, oh, me and the old lady are going to go. We're going to go. We're going to pick some cranberries and we're going to leave them in the sun so that way we can have craisins in the salad later. Meanwhile, the men are out chasing a buffalo and going to stab it in the fucking neck. And the moment it dies, they're all going to take a bite out of the heart like the savages that they are and the men that they are. Meanwhile, well, fucking Chris or whatever the fuck his name is, not even worth saying his fucking name. I don't. I, I took a shot in the dark. If I nailed it, I nailed it. I can't remember. I'm not about to fuck with my phone and fuck with that back there. But Chris is back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to sprinkle it with craisins. And don't worry, boys. I found some spices that we can put on the meat. But I'm not going to eat the meat because my wife says that I can't eat the meat. That's what you sound like right now, you cuck boy. Oh, my wife says I can't sleep in the tea. I can't sleep in a teepee, so I gotta sell. You know, I gotta sell the camper. I gotta sell the camper. I can't go out in the wilderness no more because I need to stay in my one bedroom apartment downtown Calgary like a cock. Pfft. I'm vegan now. Ugh. Ugh. Lose your brother. Cut him out of your life. <laughs> You know, is that what you want? Is that where you see your life going, pal? That's a good ask, ask him that. Is that where you see your life fucking chugging along, being told what to do, every, every fucking thing that you go, I think I'm going to go downstairs and play some video games for an hour. No, you're not. You're going to help me peel the carrots for our next little salad invention that I got going on. I went and found out, uh, found about new... Uh, seven different types of nuts that we're going to use, and we're going to use hemp seed for protein. And then we're going to sprinkle chia seeds on here too and put it in, have a nice raspberry vinaigrette. That Yeah, does that sound fun to you? Oh, oh yeah, Chester. Chester recommends trying the Purple Pale Cum Sucker 4000 IPA that was just made in Chestermere, Alberta. It sounds like it, it would pair really well with the salad that we're making tonight, honey. Sounds like a great life, pal. Sounds like you're heading down a sick path. Sounds like sounds like everything that I would love to be. Sunk. God almighty. What happened? What happened? Like, why? Why do guys gotta go through this type of shit? You know? Yeah, pussy's great and all, but it sure the fuck ain't worth going down a path like that. My God. Losing every ounce of you. You know, losing every bit of yourself. I get it. Some people change over time because they want to, you know, you go travel, you get out of your small town. You don't like mud no more. That's okay. But you like going and traveling, seeing foreign countries. That's a okay. That's you on your own terms. I'm saying what I'm saying, you being a man, that's you making decisions for yourself. That's, that's perfectly fine. But by the sounds of it, she's making you sell the camper. She's making you go vegan. It's a different story if you wanted to do it, you know? If you wanted to sell the camper. But it sounds like you lost your fucking nuts. Your little coin purse is in her purse. And she's making decisions for you, which is not a fucking very dude-friendly thing. I get very chapped when these types of things happen. Oh, there we go. That thing's going to fuck up. We're gonna, we're just gonna, oh, oh, nice. It stayed. Cool. But, uh, yeah, no, it, like, a, like, like I was just mentioning, um, y- you know, if you chose to do those things, totally respectful. I can accept that. I can accept that. But the fact that somebody's telling you what to do, there it goes, um, is you're disrespecting yourself. You really are. You're allowing your life to be t- 
taken over by somebody else's decisions. And that's that to me is just, I don't know. It's it hurts my feelings. You know, you're I think your brother's more pissed. I think you're uh, I think you're more pissed at your brother is the fact that you're watching him being used. You know, he's being taken over. Uh, this this woman is, has come into his life and is dictating the direction that she thinks he needs to go. Meanwhile, he should be directing himself in whatever direction he needs to go or wants to go, you know? Like if your brother looked at you and been like, look, dude, I don't really like hunting and fishing. I just kind of did it because, uh, you know, it was time for, it was the only time that me and you would hang out. I'm sure you'd be like, oh, oh, fuck, dude. Why didn't you say something? Why the fuck didn't you say something? You know, I can fuck it. We can find other shit to do. We fucked. Let's go get drunk bowling. Let's go bowling and get absolutely pinned together. That's a good time. But no. Oh, yeah, you know. And he comes to you. Yeah, you know, fucking Jen. This girl's probably your name is Jen. Seems like a Jen name. Jen wants me to sell the camper, you know. Just seems to be taking up a little too much space in the driveway. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pussy. Your brother's a pussy. Letting a fucking, let somebody else, not even, not even just a woman, somebody else telling you what you can and cannot do. Pussy. 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 <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I would recommend fucking taking him aside, reminding him where he was, or, uh, where he was and where he is now. And the decisions that led to uh, why he's in the position that he's in. How this became this way. And uh, that's, the, that's the best advice I can give you, big dog. I hope your brother can get back on track. Uh, I don't think that blowing up at a family event is the best idea. I didn't quite cover that. I'll cover that quickly. I don't think that covering uh, that blowing up at the family event, because like you said, that will just drive them closer. And this sounds like evil and vindictive, like it's uh, some sort of way to get your brother to leave this woman. But I'm saying that by doing something very explosive in nature like that, it's like uh, it's like an air. It's like a it's like when the Americans drop an airstrike on Afghanistan. It just increases the hatred towards the the, the West. You know, it, it by doing that, you're just allowing her to win more, and then she sees you as a, an an imminent threat. Where now she's won him over because a. Um, what 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 you don't do, or maybe you do, I don't know, is uh, you don't suck his dick, okay? You don't you don't give him sex. Maybe you do. Maybe you're one of those fucked up families that we read about in the news. I don't know, but at the end of the day, she gives him pussy, and like I said, pussy is currency of its own, and that's how she's able to rule over him. And once he realizes that there's a lot of pussies in the world. And that, uh, you know, AKA, there's a lot of currencies. And right now it sounds like he's trying to, uh, uh, he's trying to use like rupees, like a low five. <laughs> Funny, I use rupees and I, I uh, use an airstrike against, or an American airstrike in Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, he, like you're, she's, she thinks her rupee ass pussy is an American dollar, which isn't the case in this relationship. You know, he's looking at rupee pussy thinking it's American dollars. It's not the case. Not at all. Not even close. Because American dollar pussy doesn't make you sell the camper. All right. It doesn't make you go vegan for one. You as a man should know better than that. Oh, it's good for the planet. Fuck you. What did we talk about earlier? The planet's fucked. Eat a piece of meat. Get jerked off by a tranny. Who gives a fuck? This baby's fucking spinning out of control. It's spun out of control. You don't got much life, okay? And once you realize that that uh, there's lots of pussy out there and some are rupees, right? Same with the cryptocurrency thing that we were talking about or last week or whenever it was. Uh, some pussies are, uh, are, are rupees and some are American dollars, okay? 
And right now you're trying to trade rupees and convince everybody that the rupees that you have in your hand are American dollars. And that's not the case because everybody's looking at it and being like, well, you're retarded. You're an idiot. Because those rupees are worth fuck all. Nobody here wants the rupees. Get the rupee out of here. You want to know what rupees are for? Thrown in the trash. That's what they are. They're good for nothing over here. Now, maybe if you were in Afghanistan over in fucking Veganville, those rupees might be worth something. But we're we're in North America. All right? You picking up what I'm putting down? Do you understand what I'm saying, S.A.? Ah. <laughs> ah. But yeah, I don't think by blowing up on both of them uh, is a brilliant idea. Unless it gets to that point, you know? Unless you can physically... Uh, see the mental strain that's happening to your brother and you can see him become a shell of himself, then I would bring it up and be like, look what's happening to you. You used to be like this and now you look miserable. If he looks like he's in a miserable state most of the time, I would bring it up in front of everybody. I would. I honestly would. And shame her. Look what you're doing to this guy. You think this is what he wants? You think this is how... Uh, this is how we act. This is how we are. He's not happy at all. He's a shell of himself. He's miserable. He's depressed. He doesn't know what to do. He's lost. He knows to wake up, go to work, come home, get yelled at. Be told how shitty he is. He's in a mentally abusive relationship. I'm making shit up. I'm going off what I was fed. But if you can see like this, uh, uh, uh a mental decline, and uh, even like his appearance is changing. Like he just seems like, mm, you know, he's not his regular self. You grew up with him. You know him better than anybody on the fucking planet. Take him aside. Talk to him about it. See if he's actually, are you actually happy with all this shit that's going on in the direction that you're going? Or are you just kind of doing as you're told? Big difference there. And start there. And if it continues, then chew her ass out. By all means, let her have it. You're going to lose your brother. You're going to lose your brother when that happens. And that's just the way it's going to go. She wins that round. But one day he'll be back. He will be back. And it'll be beautiful. It'll be joyous. It'll be a celebration. You're going to get hammered again. You're going to go fishing. You're going to go hunting. You're going to do all the shit that you both did when you were kids. And it'll be, it'll be a, uh, like I said, a joyous event. And I thank you for tuning in to an Uncle Hack podcast. We'll see you uh, again next week. Um, be sure to check out the Patreon exclusive episodes and you can see what I'm up or hear what I'm up to. Hey, how about that? 